Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once you subscribe, hit that notification bell. Join the Clockwork Crew so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, which is every single Monday, like Clockwork. It's BoxyCharm. It's late. Um, there's literally one week left in this month and I'm just not getting my box. I just got it today and I just want to get it over with. I'm so sick of them, guys. I really just want to cancel. At this point, it is... <laughs> If you guys already seen what I got in this September premium box, keep on watching. Okay, so honestly, I'm <laughs> I'm over Boxy Charm. I have no idea what it's gonna bring today. Um, again, I do not follow Boxy Charm on Instagram. My box literally comes later than everyone else, and other people that I do follow that post a Boxy Charm. Always have a way better box than I do, so I have not a not a clue. So let's let's do. I'm over it. All right, all right, all right. So here's my premium box for September. English? No, I didn't speak that just now. I don't know. Uh, we got a box of charm knife. Um, I'm just and it's not that heavy. Even the last time it was a little heavy because it was skincare. I don't, I just don't know anymore about Boxy Charm. All right. So, what is this? I got a card. <laughs> These cards are leaving me. Um, it just says BTS, behind the scenes. Speaking of which, if you guys didn't see, check out my behind the scenes vlog. I was working with Shayna again for a new single. It was just a photo shoot, but it was, God, we were in a hotel that we were not, we, Go watch it. Check. I think I need to make a playlist for vlogs, for makeup artist vlogs, and I think I'm gonna. Ooh, you guys might see a vlog from my trip. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's let's go. All right. So the first thing in here is a verb ghost oil. It says soothing moringa blend weightless hair. It's a hair oil. Oh, I don't. I don't know why they give me hair stuff. I literally. Redid my survey and I started getting better boxes and I don't, I literally don't want hair products. I don't. I'm very particular about what I put in my hair and what I use for my hair because it is colored and I, what, should, what is this? Verb. Okay, so this is a weightless hair oil, revitalizes strands from root to end, blah, 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 blah. It's $18 for this little thing. Um, let's smell it. I'm just going to unscrew this whole thing because I don't know if I'm going to be giving it away. Oh, it smells, it smells very light and fresh. It smells like a shampoo, but I'm not quite sure which shampoo it is. So there's that. A hair oil. Okay. Yeah. I'm just not excited about the charm anymore at all. What is this? So this is Tarte C Lotion. It says Skin Perfector. It's a three-in-one formula. It says perfects, enhances, and primes. It says helps skin tone. It's okay. So it helps skin tone and smooth texture, hydrates. Brightens and blurs appearance, helps improve what? But is it just a moisturizer? Use alone for healthy glow. We're under makeup for added radiance. So, sounds like something that should not be on my oily skin. Wait, sorry. Let's see how see much it is. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, so this is a skin. This is $32. Y'all. Yeah. And it's small as hell. Oh, it's sealed. Sorry. I'm just going to break the seal. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. Oh. I thought it was just gonna be like a moisturizer, skin perfector. Is it like a CC cream, or like a BB cream? What the f is this? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Oh, it just, I don't see it perfecting anything if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's literally just like, it's not even a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't really have a smell. I appreciate that. It feels nice. It just feels like a moisturizer with a little bit of like flecks of glitter. I don't, I, I don't know what they were going for with that, but that's that's that. Um, okay, it's not bad. Like I would use it as a moisturizer, but nothing more. I don't think I would use it. Would I? I mean, I I guess you could use it as a primer. It's pretty tacky, but it's not sticky, so that's really good. Uh, okay. So this is not horrible. I might try this. 
Uh, again, it's $32. No. We got a Fenty product. So this is a Fenty. This is a Snap Shadows Mix and Match eyeshadow palette. This is $25. Um, I think I've seen these, but I've never used one. So far, so good. We have a makeup product. Honestly, I'm really not even in the mood to play with these eyeshadows. I swear I'm not, which is bad. But what color is it? I know I picked it. Like, I had a choice, but I don't know which one this is. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, you know what? I'll do a little, I'll do a little, I'll do a little sun some. I'll do a little soft glam look. It's, it's actually really pretty. I like that there's three shimmers and three mattes. So, that's nice. I think I'm definitely going to just use this. I'm going to do a quick look with that. And that's how it's going to go. <laughs> but that's this one. $25. Sorry that my energy's low. I'm just exhausted and drained. And I'm quite honestly over BoxyCharm. Uh, it's just, it just gets later and later and it's rude now. And just shut up, BoxyCharm. Like, that's how that made me feel. But here is uh, finally some makeup. But did I just do it? Did I, I think I just had a pink look. Hmm. What, we're going to use it anyway. Next, this is a Tulip Do Mist. Fragrance free. It says hydrating mist. I don't really use hydrating mist. This is from Bloom Effects. How much is this? This is thirty-four dollars too. Damn. See, I'm saying a brightening boost. Let's just first off, let's. I like the spray. Doesn't really smell like. Doesn't really smell like. It's hydrating. Like it's. It's cooling. I think I would like it if it was just really, really hot. I, um, I'm gonna assume it's similar to that Evian spray. I'm not gonna dry myself. Oh my God, did you guys ever watch <laughs> Superstar? When the girl's name was Evian, go, go drink a bottle of yourself. I'm sorry. I'm not as old as, as my, my references, I swear. Uh, <laughs> But that's $34. I would not pay. No, 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 no. I would never pay that. Wait, I have... This is too much. I have too much. What is this? Hmm. All right. So, there's only two things left. This thing here is... It says Complex Culture. It says Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. So, I just... I got one. Was that my last box? It was a few boxes ago. I got $58. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, like, even the place, even the placement of, like, the name is the same. The colors are almost exactly, if somebody wants this, because I don't, I don't see the need in having two, let me know in the comments down below. You guys know I will send that to you. Alright, so this is a black-owned brand, I like myself. Okay, so, sorry if my camera angles change, sorry if the if it's not in focus, literally my camera is just shutting off. I don't know where my other battery is. It, today is a lot. Today is so much. But, so this is a really, really good highlighting palette. I couldn't even find the words. I'm so like all over the place in my head right now. Um, it's actually very, very inclusive. These will look beautiful on darker skin tones. These obviously on more fair skin tones. I am going to wear all of them because that's what I do. That's who I am. But this is really, really nice. And it brings me back to the Anastasia highlighting palette. The, I literally, the glow, was it the glow something? Whatever. The deeper one was my first um, highlighting palette I ever had. And it just really, really reminds me of that. And I really like it. And I can't wait to add this to my freelance kit. But y'all, honestly, the box is okay. It wasn't, it's not a bad box. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just really just not, <laughs> I'm just kind of over BoxyCharm in this week itself. It's just, I literally just keep getting my box so late that I'm not excited for it anymore. I'm just really annoyed at this point. Um, yeah. Stop giving me hair stuff. It's, I don't want it. But I am gonna go ahead just real quick, zoom you guys in. Uh, just gonna get a quick soft glam look out with this palette and hopefully the look will make me feel a little better because I'll be cute sometimes when you look good you feel good and that's really that's really a thing so I'm gonna go ahead do you guys in a little bit and we're just gonna jump into it it shouldn't take too long and it should be very very easy for everyone to do so as a class as a unit as a team 
we can have we can we can do this look so let me go ahead zoom you guys in and we'll get started uh, let's jump right into it so this is the fenty this is the the there are four rows snap shadows why is it this way but i have to read it this way i don't i don't know if i like that yeah i don't know if i like that at all um but here it is this is the four rose palette all right i just can't open anything hmm. all right so they don't have um any names oh they fucking do have names yeah so they have names on the back i'm gonna go into the sleepover shade that is the pale pink you guys know it'll be on the screen and I'm just gonna take my large fluffy blending brush and this is just gonna be my transition shade. Again, this is going to be a quick, soft glam look as, as, as quick as it can be with the way my camera has been just overheating. This is just going to be my transition. You got, get off, get off me, get off me. Look at the hair, look at that, get off. Okay. Um. <laughs> You guys can go ahead and use a brown. I just want, really wanted to use this pink. It'll be a nice transition. If you are deeper skin tone, you can go ahead into the brown shade that is called Spice Trip. Okay, I don't like that because if I have to keep flipping it upside down, sorry if the mirror is blinding. If I have to keep flipping it upside down, it's really annoying. I don't like that. It's probably on the box, but you guys know I don't like that either. Honestly, I would rather they didn't have shades in for them to do this because it, it's just kind of stupid i don't like it all right yeah that's enough so i like these shadows this is my first well it's not my first time using fenty shadows i've i've literally only used like that first the moroccan spice palette is that what it's called that first palette that she ever had that just had a bunch of shimmers i didn't really i didn't really care for that one too much it's not bad the formula is not horrible there's not a lot of kick up in the pan um, it's not really that chalky, but let's see how they blend out together. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking my Morphe E36 into this hot pink shade or deep pink. It's called Lil Miss. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm just going to use that for my crease and my outer corner. Okay, I like it. It does. It's pretty pigmented, and I think they blend out nice together. You guys notice I didn't put any banana powder down. I'm just over today. It just wasn't gonna happen. So I'm making sure that I'm not getting a lot of fallout. But there's not a lot of kick up with these shadows. Again, they're not powdery, um, but they still have that pigmentation, which is really, really good. And I'm just doing a soft glam look anyway. Oh, oh, is it getting a little patchy right here? Or did I just miss a spot? That was good. It was me. <laughs> Before y'all run into Ariana, I said her shit's patchy. I didn't say that. It was just embarrassing me. These are actually like really good, like little travel palettes. You can get it. You can honestly really get one to two looks out of this. But I think it's really nice. I don't I didn't even I don't remember how much they cost, but I'm pretty sure you can just get a Morphe palette for cheaper, I'm not gonna lie. But Morphe palettes do have a lot of fallout in the pan on your eye, it's just chalk. For the most part. I'm not gonna lie to you, the very first Jaclyn Hill palette, that that was a really good formula. I think I also have the James Charles palette. It was a gift, it was a gift. Um, don't cancel me, cancel your mom. That palette, I think, I think it has a different formula than Jaclyn Hill palette also. The first palette, not the second or third or the minis, the vaults. I don't know anything about those palettes. I've never tried them, but. The very, very first one, the OG, that is a different formula. Okay, I think that's it for the pink. Again, we're doing a soft glam look. No cutting the crease. So next, oh, where's my brush? Where are my brushes? So here we go with my flat shader brush. This is a, I also have a two, three, four. It is a smoky shader brush. I'm gonna go into, what is this? Sugar Shack. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's called that, but 
Let's try it. Let's try it. This looks very similar to the duochrome that I like to use for my um, Zulu palette. This is a very pink look. I didn't expect it to be so pink, but I like it. It's cute. It's a nice soft glam look. Just like I said, anyone can do it. If you're a deeper skin tone than me, definitely go ahead and use that brown shade in the middle um, instead of that pale, oh, the brown shade that I accidentally dipped my brush into instead of that pink. And very lightly going back into my Morphe E36, I'm going to knock off any excess because I don't want to make a mess. And I'm going to just smoke out my lower lash line with that. And that's really it. Off camera, just gonna go ahead, throw on some lashes and give you guys my final thoughts on the palette, on this box, but you guys already know how this box of charm thing works. So let me go ahead, finish up, and I'll be here right now. All right, so here's the final look. Just something cute. It's nothing crazy. Again, anyone can do this look. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> you can do this look. It's very, very simple. I didn't do anything off camera except put on some eyeliner, Apply my lashes. These are in mixy. I just thought it was a fun, cute lash just to throw on for this look. Um, it definitely, listen, it levels up those soft glam looks. I think it's really cute. You guys know I love I love pinks and pink shadows. Um, in the inner corner, I did go ahead and add, um, what the, this is so annoying by the way. I don't like it at all. I did add, it's called Diva Fever. Oh my God, it's so stupid how it's like backwards. Yes, Diva Fever. So it's that shade right here in the corner it's actually a pressed glitter it looks really really nice so if you want it intense on the lid definitely use a glitter primer i always recommend the nyx glitter primer it's so good and remember a little goes a long way but that is what's in my inner corner and it looks really really cute so but that's it guys here's my box not too shabby sorry that my engine isn't where it usually is but things will get better i'll get better and i have so so much coming to this channel to my brand just please stay tuned and follow me on instagram just do it but that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you go ahead hit that subscribe button once you subscribe hit that notification bell join the clockwork crew so you'll be notified every single time that i upload which is every single monday like clockwork y'all i gotta go <laughs> thank you so much for watching until next